What are we doing today? <laughs> I think we're going to try to do some water procurement. Yeah. yeah. Dad, I'm in Hey guys, Justin with Backyard Bushcraft. So today, we're gonna to go through a few different ways that you could purify water while you're out on a hike or maybe out camping. There's a lot of different ways you can go about purifying water that you may find along a trail or maybe in your camp. One of the most common ways is obviously to boil your water. That will pretty much ensure that you're gonna kill any type of bacteria or virus that is in that water. The only thing you really have to worry about is any sediment that might be floating around. You can always strain it out but boiling water is probably the most uh, favorite way that you can go about purifying any water that you find. A second way that you can go and purify your water is by utilizing water tablets, water purifying tablets. Uh, third is water filtration systems. So the two water purifying systems we're gonna to utilize today is the mini Sawyer water filtration system and the Graal water filtration system. So guys, as you're probably gonna hear me say a million times, this is not a paid advertisement. I'm not a sponsor of these companies. Uh, I do, however, uh, have an Amazon affiliates page. You will see links to these products in my uh, description. If you're interested in going out and getting yourself either one of these filtration systems, by all means, click the link in my description and it absolutely helps my uh, channel. I get a little bit of a kickback if you happen to purchase it and I absolutely appreciate it. So here we are up in beautiful Battle Bar of Vermont. We have Evan over here who's making a number one mistake when it comes to survival outside. Do you know what it is? Um, don't eat snow because it will make you like, it'll make you like not survive. Exactly, so eating snow, although you might want to do it if you're thirsty, will actually lower your core temperature and put you in an even worse situation than you started out. The best way to get yourself some type of hydration is to either boil some water or carry around some type of filtration system with you like I have here. All right, so how this works, yeah. it's very simple. You're gonna take the cup out or your filter out. You're gonna fill this up with water and then you'll take your filtration system and you're gonna make sure you have it open so this way you can filter your water and you're gonna push down and that will obviously filter the water into this container which you'll then be able to drink and that's what we're going to do right now perfect so now that we have our cup filled up we're going to take our filter we're going to put it in the cup and now we're going to filter the water yeah so you don't spill it you test it first justin well, you don't worry buddy I'm going to. Okay, so I filtered the water. It wasn't hard at all. I'm gonna be the test dummy here. And we're gonna taste how good this water is. That's delicious. That's probably the best, bo best water you'll ever drink. In the forest. So that's the Graal water system, really simple. This is going to clean contaminants, metal, viruses. Uh, it's, gonna contain, it's gonna clean out any bacteria. This is probably the best water filtration system that you're gonna come across. Uh, a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but when it comes to survival and getting yourself a fresh cup of water in the middle of the woods, there's really no other better way. But I will have a link in my description. You can check this out online uh, in my Amazon affiliates page and you can get one for yourself as well. I just turned it off. Clean, right? Yeah. Okay. I want to try it. It is really good. Yeah. Do you see that? That's what I was expecting to be drinking. Right. So that was just filled. That, now that's not anything bad. That's just dirt and leaves and sediment floating in the water. We can see it perfect right here. Yeah. But when it comes to anything uh, that's going to hurt you, that's been filtered out. 
by this filtration system right here, and you have perfectly clean oh, drinking water. Test me that water filter, bud. Okay, so we've seen the Graal water system. Now, we have something that was given to me by uh, my neighbors. They were recently up in Maine skiing, and they are big fans of the channel. Uh, Backyard Bushcrafts appreciate you, Jim and Fran. We love you over here. But more importantly, they wanted me to test out the Mini Sawyer water filtration system. Most people are very familiar with Sawyer. Most people have probably used this if you're uh, a bushcrafter or if you're like an outdoors person that does uh, long hikes. Uh, so we're gonna put this to the test as well. And we're gonna see if the water is as good and as fresh tasting as the Graal water system that we tried before. You're like a natural, you know that? Yeah. All right, so I can tell you right away, although Sawyer is a well uh, reputable company, I don't like the amount of pieces that I have. I'm more of a simple kind of guy. One piece type operation. You don't really need to put things together. And uh, right away, just me personally, I don't like it. Uh, it's a little different than the Graal water system. Obviously, you just have your thermos and your plunger that you uh, and your filter that you that you uh, filter the water out. This is a little bit more uh, uh, involved, which is fine. So you have your bag here. You're going to fill this bag up with water. And here's your actual water system. You're supposed to be able to fit this to a standard water bottle. So just to show you, this is a normal sized water bottle here. Uh, and I can't get this to screw on. Oh, maybe I can. Hold on. We're going to show you right now. I'm trying my best to screw this So up. it doesn't fit on a normal 16.9 uh, fluid ounce water bottle. So I would probably guess you're, probably, you're gonna fit this on maybe a little bit of a larger mouth water bottle. Today, instead of utilizing a bottle, we're just gonna use the bag that they give us. Again, um, very simple. We're gonna fill this up with water, we're gonna screw this on, and then we're gonna drink right from the water filter itself. And now, we're just gonna screw our water filter. Okay. And we'll see what this one tastes like. All right, and we're gonna take a sip. Again, I mean, it tastes clean. In a survival situation or in an emergency type situation, if there's a way that you uh, want to drink some water and you're not able to boil the water, which is my preferable, my preferable? My preferable which is the method I would choose to go with uh, you can definitely use the soya water system so friend and Jim if you're gonna be out there skiing or hiking and you want to carry yourself along um, a water system or a water filtration system if the growl isn't something that you're into or it's maybe a little too bulky this is definitely something you can go along we'll have a link in my description in my Amazon Associates page so if you want to get yourself one of these bad boys you can go down click the link and obviously help the page out I really appreciate uh, you checking that out as well so that's it for me today guys based on both of the products that I use today the growl water filtration system was definitely uh, the better of the two I got a little bit of an aftertaste with the mini Sawyer system. Not that it was bad or not that I think that the water was tainted at all, but there was definitely a little bit of an aftertaste uh, once we filtered it out. Very clean tasting though, and there was no sediment at all in the water. The Graal, in my opinion, gold standard. Uh, you, were, you were able to see the sediment left behind in the actual container, and the water that was filtered was absolutely crystal clear, good tasting, and there was no aftertaste. So that's gonna wrap it up for us here in beautiful Battleboro, Vermont. I'm glad I got the opportunity to finally test out my water filtration systems. I hope you really liked the video. I hope you learned a thing or two uh, about how to go ahead and filter water that you may find on a hiking trail or at your camp. It's very important that you never drink any water source without sanitizing it first. You never really know exactly what you're getting in that water. And if you have something like the Graal or even like the mini Sawyer water filtration system or even the ability to boil some water, always go ahead and sanitize that water first. Because the last thing you want is some parasite or some virus to wreak havoc on your stomach. So if you like what you saw, guys, smash that like button, give me a thumbs up, obviously subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, ring that bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. 
I really appreciate you checking me out. This is Justin with Backyard Bushcraft, signing out.